You guys seem to like my breakfast recipes a lot, so we're making our white bean breakfast bake. Boom, we've soaked some white beans here. Now, there's a lot of debate about whether or not you soak your beans, you salt your beans. I think it was Serious Eats, shout out to Serious Eats. What they found was that salting your water, if you're gonna soak it, and then salting it when cooking makes more flavorful beans, which makes sense, am I right? I'm gonna save the cooking liquid and use this liquid. I need five cups of liquid to boil these bad boys. I soaked these yesterday. I did salt this water. You only need like a tablespoon of salt. If you don't remember to salt it, people do a quick soak. The quick soak method is that you put them in cold water, bring it to a boil, turn it off, and let it sit for an hour. Also, some people don't even soak their beans at all, so I don't know, who's to say? Everyone has a different method of doing these things. All I'm saying is beans are good for you, okay? People should eat more beans. Well, it's a very good thing to eat for vegetarians. This is not a vegetarian dish because, check out these bad boys, I'm gonna add in some ham hocks. What are ham hocks? They're hocks of ham. It's the old pig cankle. That's what we're gonna call it. Fuck. <laughs> these beans are gonna cook around an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm leaving my carrots chunkier so that they don't completely disintegrate in there. You could put other vegetables, I guess. I just, I really like a carrot because it can withstand an hour's worth of heat to it, you know? You could use celery. Cut up our old onion. Again, a rough chop on these guys. My pan's nice and warm. I'm gonna add some olive oil. These are all gonna go in together. Nothing better than that sound. The old sizzling. Okay, so with that, let's see. It almost got in. This other trash can's blocking me. Nope, that didn't go in either. Cool. Okay, just smash my garlic cloves and peel them. They're gonna go in after these soften. So I'm just gonna cook the onion and the carrot, a little bit of salt. It's gonna season it. It's also gonna help soften it. We're sweating out the onion and the carrot. I heard everybody out there always being like, oh, this bitch and all her cheese and dairy and stuff and blah de blah. Well, guess what? This. This is literally like one of the easiest, one of the easiest and healthiest recipes I've ever made. You're welcome. While we're sitting here waiting for this, I'm gonna sit here. Do you want an Irish coffee? Mmm. Yeah, give me some whiskey in here. <laughs> Put a lot in there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sicily. Oh, should we do a France now? France. <laughs> That's the new word. I said, how many times did I say France before? That's the new one for this episode. Drink with me now. What time is it? 10.13. Okay. So, I'm gonna throw in my garlic, a couple cloves. I'm not slicing up my garlic when you get it after it's been roasted or as it were, like it's stewed, it's boiled essentially in here. It's gonna be like nice and mushy and soft and just kind of very mellow and I just love that. If you're the lucky two people who get the chunk of garlic, thick shot. <laughs> mm. These are nice and soft. Everything's kind of smelling really good. Gonna throw in some thyme. I think I call for four sprigs. I throw in more thyme every time I do this. Every time is more thyme. It's a good time, okay? I love, see you hear the, hear the crackling? That's what I love about adding the thyme in right now. On the sprigs whole, fine. It's, it's, oh, it smells so good. I got a bay leaf. You get a, I'm gonna throw this in here while I'm talking. You get bay leaves for your house for one stew and you don't use it again for three years and those bay leaves lose all their pungency. But a fresh bay leaf, throw it in your stew. It's very mellow. I'm going to add in my ham hocks. This is gonna flavor the sock a lot. The bones and um, all the skin and everything add gelatin. It's gonna help thicken it as well. Add in all my, soaked beans, and then five cups of liquid. This is my bean soaking liquid that has been seasoned with salt. You can use just plain water if you want also. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Again, I'm not seasoning this with any more salt because as it cooks, if you add too much salt, all those beans is gonna all absorb. It's gonna end up being too salty. Yeah, beans, magical fruit. That used to be my favorite thing as a kid. Do you ever, can you fart with your armpit? I'm not gonna try right now, but I kinda wanna try right now. <laughs> I can't do it either. I don't know, it's definitely an art to farting. <laughs> if 
Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel sweet. Beans at every meal. Is that copyrighted RNC? Can I sing that or not? <laughs> that didn't even go into the trash can. It literally skimmed the top. Did you see that? Like, look at there's that's everywhere. Back here, there's onions, carrots. All right, we're simmering. Lid on. Let it cook for about an hour. While that goes, I'm gonna make my little vinaigrette. I'm gonna mince up the old shallots. We're using Calabrian chilies. You know, the thing about Calabrian chilies, these are minced already. They're from Calabria in Italy. What did you say? Calabria, Sicily? It's all the same. Mm. Calabrian chilies are delicious. If you wanna do some fresh chilies in there, that works too. So a little bit of oil into that guy. We add a little bit of salt just to season that, help soften it. I love this spatula. So little and cute. Throwback, me and Guy Fieri, I gave him this one. He was like, why are you giving me all these small utensils? We had a real chemistry, him and me. Okay, I'm gonna add in my tomato base. Just cook this out just for like a minute. It helps bring out more of the flavor and kind of cook out any of that raw kind of tomato-ness that is in there. Turn off the heat. Add in our Calabrian chilies, our red wine vinegar. Oh, it smells so good. Vinegar in there, that's nice. Some olive oil, just to kind of thin it out a little bit, make it more of like a vinaigrette. This is a really beautiful vinegary little hot sauce. Sicily. Now, We've got this. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Remove the stems and the bay leaf. The ham hocks are like split, they're super tender. The beans are nice and creamy. They're falling apart a little bit. I'm glad of that, because look how much thicker it is. It's thick, it's creamy. <laughs> That's what she said. We're gonna pull these guys out, let that cool slightly. I'm gonna do some black pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna pick the meat off. It's so crazy how like little meat ends up on these, but. It's enough where you mix it in there and it's like fine. That's enough, okay. So I'm just gonna roughly chop this. Shred it a little bit. Once you mix it in there, it's like nicely dispersed. You can serve this as is like this, okay? I'm putting these cute little pots because this is a delicious little breakfast treat. So you can freeze it like this in individual containers. You can serve it up like this into bowls. I live alone, whatever, but I do have a lot of, I entertain a lot of guests and things. I'm the kind of person I'll make a lot of stuff on like a weekend or whatever and then freeze it so that you know, on the off chance I have a friend come over, I have something you can get them. We're gonna put an egg on it because we're kind of making this do a breakfast thing. This doesn't have to also be breakfast. This could be your lunch. This could be your dinner. This could be, it's your three meals, so I think I covered it. A little bit of salt, just seasoning the eggs, and then a little bit of pepper on each. Into the oven, 425, 10 to 12 minutes. Sicily, France, do a little dance. I'm shaking a little bit. All right, these look good. You can see the egg is still runny. The white has set. We're gonna put a little bit of thyme over them. Whoa, that's Calabrian chili vinaigrette. It's so beautiful. The egg right in there. Give that a little swirl too. Oh, my eyes are watering because it's so good. I'm gonna cry. The beans are nice and creamy. They're well seasoned. This is just a really good kind of warming, I would call it a winter breakfast, you know? For the recipe, click the link below.